Hey friends, welcome to this brand new part, part 49. We are looking at real certification questions. Same or similar questions may come in the exam. Focus on the concepts. Click the join button if you have not clicked it yet. Become a Cloud Kernel Cloud Ninja member. Gain access to lot more other content. Hit the subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed. In this video, there must be a product listing appearing somewhere. You can go through the products and if you want to buy, buy it from there. This question is asking about what are the five pillars of well-architected framework. So there are a set of architectural best practices for the well-architected framework. There are six pillars. This, these are the six pillars. Security pillar, reliability pillar, sustainability pillar and so on. So we are looking at cost optimization. It is here and here as well. So now cost optimization is one of the pillar. Everything, anything that you do on cloud as a cloud engineer, you want to be very much aware about reducing your cost. So that is that is where we are coming here. Cost optimization pillar. Then we are looking at performance efficiency. We have it here, performance efficiency. Anything that you do on cloud creating applications, it has to be performance efficient. Like for example, Amazon.com, Facebook, etc. They are so good in performance that you stay glued to it. And you are spending hours and hours and your entire life wasting on Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp because of high performance. Then there is another thing that you are wasting your time is Netflix, Amazon Prime and so on. So keep wasting your time man. keep wasting it. That credit should go to high performance, performance efficiency. Then we have something called reliability. You have this reliability pillar. So if there is a failure, how quickly they can recover. Have you seen Netflix went down for a day and you are not able to watch Netflix? No, because quickly, quickly it recovers. You don't even come to know man. And then we have operational excellence. This is your operational excellence. It focuses on running and monitoring systems, continually improving process and procedures. So this is my answer, final answer. But let us look at other options. Now, first one says, talks about encryption. See, you may not have any PII data. That is personal sensitive data. You may not have. So why would you choose this? Encryption is not mandated. It is not a part of well accredited framework. Containerization also. You may choose it. You may not choose it. But that is not a best practice that we are suggesting. Globalization. What if your business is only in India? Like Bharat Pay. Bharat Pay, you only want in India. Paytm, you only want in India. Amazon.com is a global. They want globalization. But nobody can say, hey, you know, any application, you have to make it available for your global audience. It does not work that way. And this network, compute, storage, security, these are not pillars, man. These are just an entity which helps the pillars. But these are not pillars. So this is my final answer. Now let us jump into this next question. Very interesting one. See, you own a company. You have moved your IT infrastructure from on-premises to cloud. Any question in these certifications, you are on on-premises, you are going to cloud. What will happen? How will your life change? So here they are asking, watch which cost is company's direct responsibility. So let us scan through the options. Option D, it says cost of physical security. Oh, Ramu Kaka, that, Ramu Kaka, that guy, the security guard, he, he, you don't know whether Ramu Kaka is there or Shamu Kaka is there. You don't know when. That is AWS responsibility, not your responsibility. Okay. So cost of power for the AWS servers was, did the data center took 50 lakh rupees or 50,000 uh, dollars or they paid uh, 100k dollars. You don't know. That, that you are not paying okay neither your father is paying man so that is not your responsibility as a company cost of hardware infrastructure you are not buying the rack space you are not buying the z blade servers etc you are totally immune you don't even know what is the hardware there so you are not going to pay for this so what will you pay only for the cost of application software licenses so that is why we are saying was come to cloud your life will be easy in cloud you don't have to worry about so many other things awesome right awesome life it is just like in your home, you are buying rice, you are buying wheat, you are buying bread, you are buying cheese and so on. If you go ordering food from restaurant, you don't worry about hardware, bread, cheese, vegetable, masala. You don't worry about those things. Everything is ready made. You just say, I want butter chicken and naan that you will get it. Okay. You don't even worry whether this was uh, who bought it, how many kgs of wheat is there at home and etc. You don't worry about it, man. Just order it. So for such service, what will happen? Obviously, no brainer, no brainer. You have to pay very high cost for the services. Now here, which of the following is a cloud benefit that AWS offers to its users? So one benefit which stands out is AWS on a global scale. And this would be my answer because AWS, you know, globally, it addresses, it has data centers in so many other countries, in so many states, in so many cities that it is unmatched. So you can get a very good service, a very good low, low latency, high performance anywhere in the world. 
okay except for probably in amazon valley there i don't know if there is a data center near that or north pole or siberia you may not get it but let us look at other options see hypervisors hypervisors are something which is managing your hardware it is sitting on top of hardware and it is managing it you don't have even access to it you are one layer above hypervisors so you don't have access so you will not manage i mean uh, the ability to configuration though know, that you will not have it. you cannot even configure it you cannot see it because this is aws work now uh, b ability to purchase hardware okay the in on premises when you want to expand your it infrastructure you have the ability to purchase hardware in cloud you don't have it aws already has purchased hardware man you just use it so it's just like in a restaurant they already have rice bags they already have potatoes they already have onions you just say you need a potato curry they will make it for you and give it to you do, do don't worry about where did the onion came from now d compliance audits for user it environments these audits aws takes care of themselves you don't get an opportunity to audit it that is something which aws internally does it so this would be my final answer friends if you have not yet subscribed take this opportunity i'm not sure what are you waiting for take this opportunity subscribe become a member a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member by clicking the join button below this video or the description link all real certification questions keep it real that is our effort focus on the concept see you in the next part